Fighting Field. I'm Claire, one of the fitness specialists at the Fitness Center, and I'm going to spend a brief moment talking to you about the importance of the hip hinge. The hip hinge is a movement that you do uh, to initiate any sort of load, such as a squat or a deadlift. The importance of this movement is that it's going to let the glutes and the hamstrings take on more weight through the eccentric contraction. In other words, a fancy way just to say on the lowering phase of a movement. It allows you to create greater force as you come back up from the ground. So, you know, eccentric loading is when the muscle is lengthening and concentric as it's shortening, which is what happens in a squat when you come up. Um, the importance of understanding a hip hinge really is going to let a trainer or even yourself know if you are quad dominant. Quad dominant is a fancy way to say that your butts are lazy. Um, we sit primarily in Western culture, we sit at desks, so our glutes are not as strong as they need to be. It's the biggest muscle, it needs to be really strong. Um, the dangers of quad dominance is you increase your likelihood of tearing your ACL, giving yourself knee injuries. So if you can nail down this hip hinge before you squat, before you deadlift, or you know RDLs, saying a lot of acronyms here, um, it, it really uh, can drive home the amount of weight that you can lift. So a hip hinge, now that I've said the word over and over, is when your feet are going to be about hip width apart and turning to the side, you are taking your hips and initiating your movement at the hip. So you want to do about the first 10 to 15 degrees of a bend. I have gone ahead and prepped my glutes to take on a heavier load, which in turn has made my hamstrings want to take on a heavier load. And you're just practicing pushing the hips back squeezing them as they come back forward. We use this a lot in assessments and testing to let us know if you're able to move appropriately. Oftentimes through training we see, um, we tell someone to hinge at the hip or you know just to bend at the hip. You see this curling motion. That lets us know that they're quad dominant, the knees move first, they're rounding in what we call the thoracic or you know that middle to upper back. Uh, it, show, it shows some deficiencies that are happening some communication that's not happening along your body. So this master this movement and then move on to everything else. So you're just feet are hip width apart, looking straight ahead, nice alignment throughout the spine, and you're just going to push the hips back. And eventually what that looks in a squat, and I gotta widen my base a little bit, is I'm spending that first 10 to 15 degrees pushing back and then sitting back into my squat, squeezing as I come up. So push back, come up. And you notice that if you do this, your butt is on fire and your knees don't hurt quite as much. If you wanna know if you are capable of doing a hip hinge or want more tips on how to train this, please reach out to us. We have a new trainer, his name is Gary. He'll be speaking later on this week about running, which is gonna be pretty awesome. Um, give us a call, 850-623-7412. Thanks guys and have a good one.